All right, y'all, put your hands together for Love Ya, Stuart! Hey, y'all. So this is literally my first time on stage at the Dayton Poetry Slam. Backstory. So I am a candid event photographer, so I'm always in the back, right? And um, let me just stick straight to the straight to it, because my brain is everywhere right now. So the first time, hold, can you give me my phone? Because I forgot it. Hold on. <laughs> so, because um, my girl, she would have loved that. She, she would have loved that. Oh, gosh. Okay. So the first time, and it's so emotional looking out in the crowd, because the first time that I met my homegirl um, was at the heart. It was December 17th, 2019. And I remember looking out in the crowd, and I'm looking at Vinay, and I'm looking at Matt, and I'm looking. Oh, mm. To be up here and she's not in the crowd is like fucking me up a lot. But I wanted to share um, a message that um, she had posted, reposted um, on her Instagram page. And it says, this artist has more talent in their pinky toe than the, than the human mind can fathom. If you're missing out on Thank Love Later photography, you need to stop right now. Damn, my friends are amazing. So for someone to have so much life and literally be in pain and still have the courage and the passion to continue, that's God, period. That baby, literally, um, there is a unsung, if y'all don't know who Tammy Terrell is, do some homework, but there is a unsung on Tammy Terrell, and Tammy Terrell passed away like maybe at the age of 24, 25, and her, sis er, her sister made this beautiful statement, because she had been through, Tammy Terrell had been through a lot, and she said that she went through all of that because she only had so much time. And she had to go through all of that to live the life that she needed to live because God knew that her time was up and what he needed her to do was up. And that is what I think about when I think about Brett. I remember the last time that we were together. Um, it was actually in February. And we had, I took her home and we had the best conversation, just girl talk. And I was telling her, I was like, girl, like, I kind of got a crush on somebody, but I don't know if I really want to pursue, because it's a little different for me. She was like, first of all, you're a badass. She said, remember that. And she said, you never know. Mm. She said, you never know if you'll see tomorrow. So with that, I also want to um, share something that um, my homegirl, Erica, that she has shared with me. One day, uh, Brett had came into Third Per Cafe, Third Per Coffee Shop, I'm sorry. And um, there was a family there that had just re recently lost their grandparents, or their grandmother. And... Um, Brett had came over and she had said, just because their heart stops beating doesn't mean they stop loving you. So that is literally what's been keeping me moving this whole entire time. It's hard for me to even look at pictures of her at this moment because it's just like, wow, this really just happened um, to the family. Kudos, you put of course, you and the help of God, but um, that brilliant young lady, selfless, passionate, such light and literally the definition of love. I want to personally give you your kudos because what you were able to bring into the universe 
that's not done every day. That young lady, you can tell that she came from a household of love. And I'm literally like, I have goosebumps right now because nobody that has, that has come up to this stage has nothing bad, to, nobody. And if they do, <laughs> what's up? <laughs> we in there, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, so it's like squad forever. Like, I just, ugh. Anyways, kudos to you and your family. Um, much love. I know this has probably been, this is surreal for everybody, but y'all were literally there. So I know it's a completely different feeling. And I know my girl, she is no longer in pain. I know she's somewhere, I don't know what she doing, but I know she having a good time. I'm pretty sure her hair is flawless. I could see her doing something like this. And girl, I love you so much. And I will never forget our conversations. Thank you for giving me that kick that I needed when I didn't want to pick up that camera. Thank you for motivating me uh, when I didn't want to be motivated. Um, as I'm sitting out, as I'm standing up here and I'm looking out in the audience, I'm seeing all of this love and people that have literally been in front of my camera and that's just the way that I'm able to express my love. And I'm just glad that I was able to capture just a little bit of love from her. So girl, I love you so much. And um, yeah, just everybody have a wonderful night. Y'all be safe and get your asses home safely and don't drink too much. And happy Pride and Juneteenth and all that other shit. Love y'all.